Happy Thursday to everybody. It is September the 19th, already 2019, and we are getting into our um, daily fresh tarot card reading that comes after my reading time, meditation time, and much, much more. If you haven't gone to Instagram, go on and catch the storyline because I have a video up of the waning gibbous moon that was out at 427 when i started my meditation time outdoors so check it out the moon is beautiful so let's get it in drum roll please do, 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 do. now we got a couple of things going on all right that is very important aspects along with this reading that would tie itself in so have some patience and hear this totally out and i want you to go to the the um, website, which is the blog at Ecliptic Spiritualist 7 at blogspot.com so you can see the astrological forecast for this remaining week so you can see how this is tying in, how important it is in this shifting that we're going through. So we have the um, <clears throat> Eight of Staffs or Eight of Wands. All right, and we also have as the clarifier the Empress, the Empress. Okay, now what is the divine saying to us about this beautiful card? Now, keep in mind that this is a general reading, it is not a individual reading, it is general. So sometimes this may resonate with you, and sometimes it may not. Why do I need to the clip experience? Why? Because it is general and I take the time to meditate and sit and see what the divine angels and spirit guides have to say to this particular group of people. But however, if you are journaling and look at the readings from the beginning of the week till Saturday and rewind it and look at everything in your journaling, you will see it all tie in and it will make perfect sense in your life and the moon um, and planet aspects that are going on around us, which is very important. So um, there are areas that are now moving in the uh, right direction as you hoped um, it would be. And they are all lining up. You see these wands are lining up. They're different. Um, they're in different aspects. You know, some are more than less, but they're all aligning themselves with a a big influence, I mean, it's a lot of fluency and a nice, steady flow. This comes now, this flow of everything coming in the right directions have a lot to do with several months ago um, of you being consistent and planting um, seeds and working the areas that was most important to you in the areas of career, career reputation reputation, your family, um, very important matters that bring about stability that you are well invested in because you've just been consistent in these areas, okay? So now it's starting to align themselves and give you a nice steady flow like a nice smooth river or um, just a nice flow going through the river and like going over the falls, all right? Now, <clears throat> as we get into um, the um, Empress card here as the clarifier, all right? Even when you couldn't understand not fully everything, um, there is an outcome of prog progress, all right? So what the Empress is saying to us today as a clarifier is that it's laying out Everything is laying out fully, okay? So it's coming into a full clarity, um, full openness, so that you're seeing things come together and actually understanding. It's like full disclosure. Things are just like, wow, this is what is, this is where all of my efforts are going to. You know, this is what I can fully start seeing right now, even when I couldn't see what I was exactly doing. Uh, some months and months ago, but I knew I was supposed to be doing that. So yes, you are moving very forward and things are opening up, all right? And it's going to just continue to un, um, reveal itself, okay? So a, a side note that the divine and the angels have been saying as well is that make sure um, that you stick 
to um, the plan, okay? Stick to your own decisions and don't get sidetracked. Continue, continue to stick with what you are deciding, you know? Don't get sidetracked. Another thought that, um, another thing that comes to mind as well from the divine source is saying that, um, keep keep your friends around, but keep your enemies closer. <laughs> so what the divine and spirit guides and angels are saying is keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. Is that, you know, those that aren't all rooting for you, that you think that are hanging around, they're not rooting on the home team. They're not going, root, root, root for the home team. No, they're not rooting. <laughs> So what's going to happen is those that you, your enemies keep them closer to you as eventually, you know, as you, as you work your intuition and allowing yourself to be hearing from within, you will start um, keeping them closer, but also cutting, severing the ties and cutting them off from any um, exposure, more exposure to anything of the things that you're focused on. All right. So. One of the things that's in one of the planets that is influencing this push of op opening up these eight months plus, and that's what the divine, divine is saying of what you've been working on, is that Saturn is turning direct. That's a big planet. He's a big masculine planet. And um, yes, his rings are disappearing if you look into the atmosphere, but Saturn is turning direct, okay? So the focus is going to push everything to career and reputation and family and security, all right? Now, Mars is, today, Mars is in Virgo, which is part of this nice, earthy, grounded energy that you're going to start feeling, along with Pluto, is going direct as well. So we will feel a lot of groundedness. Pluto, Saturn, they've all been retrograde for quite some time. And so Saturn's been retrograde for a while, actually. And, um, and so some people in their natal charts, um, it affects us all differently, okay? And that's where you have to get a natal chart reading um, and get more information on that to understand your birth, um, your birth chart. And that's what a natal chart is, your birth chart, your astrological realm of what was going on at the time when you were coming down through the cosmos was meant to be at that particular time and everything was lined up. But it has influences, all right? So, this is wonderful that Saturn is now going direct, Pluto is now going direct, and Mars is sitting in Virgo. So we've got this nice grounded earthly feel, but it is dealing with, with getting really focused in on career, reputation, and family. Um, also, too, and rewards. So sometimes as you've been feeling this heave-ho, heave-ho, like you just going up the mountain, you know, and it's almost like a Switzerland mountain, like you yodeling, yodi oh yo yodi yo It's like you just going, and you like rocks been flying over your head, and you've been dodging. And if you've ever watched The Price, of right, Price is Right in the U.S., there's a game on there called uh, They're Climbing a Mountain, and, and he's dodging and stuff with his pick and that's what the divine is giving me as a vision of lots of us have been going through we just yodeling up that mountain and we dodging stuff but we're picking and climbing that mountain because we're we've been focused and getting those directions even when you've been feeling a little lack or things again heave ho heave ho heave ho keep heave hoing all right, because as you're digging, digging, and you sometimes just have not been seeing the progress or things that just you just digging, trust and believe that you have been doing the right thing and planting the seed and making those moves along with your angels and spirit guides have been working to connect and continuously keep you heave hoing, heave hoing, and getting you here. All right, so stay. In that mindset of knowing that even when you haven't been seeing things really moving, trust and believe that 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 is not seen is being seen. So that means that things are that that is done in the dark will come to the light. OK, so trust and believe in the things that you've been doing, even when you can't see. Because that's when things are working. And sometimes, you know, in life. Uh, in life, 
uh, we have challenges. You know, I don't like to call them bad things or, oh, I got some people think they're super bad luck all of a sudden. Sometimes they are just challenges, okay? And what it's doing is just actually helping you along the way to be stronger, okay? And it's helping you to be stronger so that way when other challenges come your way, you know, you've already had that particular test. So you don't, you already know what the outcome is. So you'll make the right turn and the right move in the next test. So you won't have to get that same experience. This particular shift in Saturn and Pluto also too will help those that have felt like they have been procrastinating. Sometimes in people's um, life, they sometimes have a procrastination energy that arounds them at times. And I'm probably speaking to someone that has happened since they were in childhood. Um, there's been an energy and that that I'm here to tell you today that that energy has been dissolved. So now you will move in a nice good pattern of smoothness so that that way you don't feel that heaviness of procrastination all right so that's a wonderful thing from the spirit guides all right so click that wiggly bell down below ding dong ding to make sure you're getting the daily fresh tarot card reading that comes to you on a daily basis i know this was a little lengthy however i'm just following the lead in the directions of the spirit Okay, for us here as a family um don't forget to get your intuitive readings that will change your life um, make sure that you're doing that. Um, I am a, uh, spiritualist and a, a spiritual counselor of 20 plus years. All right. I'm not new to this, even though you're watching me on YouTube, but I've been servicing families and children for years in the, not only in the professional area in a, in a, in a career aspect, but also in a aspect of one-on-ones for years. I'm not new <laughs> to this. And that's something that we want to make sure that, um, you know, we get to enjoy the spiritual walk. This is very important. So go on and get your intuitive reading so that you can know more things into your life and, and dig deeper and get a consultation. Um, not even just in doing intuitive reading, but get a nice spiritual consultation with me so that you can move farther and you have any questions and we can dig deep and, and get some things um, set up for you so you are making the right moves into your life. Also, too, don't forget that we offer um, conjure work that would change your life, which in the norm in other terms, they would call it spell work, conjure work that would change your life in every single area of life and not just love matters. Love is an eros energy and that is the highest level, okay, of true true love connection from humans. But also too, when you're getting spell work, you can do it in money, rewards, luck. I mean, in so many areas of even self-love, self-help, um, which is very important that people break out of this mode of self-doubt and 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 lack of believing in themselves. And we can work in that area as well. So I love you for watching today. Welcome new subscribers. Please like, share, and subscribe to us here, Instagram and Twitter, and book your appointments either direct on my email at EcliptusSpiritualist.com or on Facebook. You may book there as well, okay? So continue to grow and go with us to 2020, and we're going to be getting ready to do some topics on the new moon and full moon. What does it mean? Um, how does it apply in your life? Uh, we're going to be doing some topics on intentions and so much more. Um, and doing a whole lot to make sure that we're on the right path and a smooth path that would change our life and those that are all around us because ultimately that's what it's all about. I'll check you later. Have a productive day. Bye-bye.